Not just nerdy, but nerdy and freaky. I'm sure there's something there that we can eat. I know what I would like to eat. Hold on, pause. So what type of stuff do you like? I'm not your daddy. Wait for it. What's up, guys? Always remember to have careless fun, and I'm Scott. Welcome to a game called Melissa. Let's get right into it. Please type a command. Start up date time. Executing date time now. Please hold. Welcome to date time. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. I prefer women. This is Melissa. She is a sweet heart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for something with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and has always wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. If you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer and more intelligent side. <laughs> I'ma get all this new. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'ma get all this smooches. Give me, Melissa. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. In a small, indirect town, you are to meet Melissa. Your date for the e this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill, waving to you. Wave back. You wave at her cheeringly. She lights up with a smile, approaches you. Hello. You must be I'm not your daddy. Not yet, I'm not. It's great to finally meet you. I've been so excited. And nervous. Don't worry, I feel the same way. Oh. I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. Let's go to the park and talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. You're beautiful too, baby. Oh, ha 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 ha. I knew you were a flatterer through your letters, but... I didn't know you'd be one in real life too. Shit. I'm always flattering, girl. <laughs> Say less. Well, I think you're mighty cute as well. I love to be out here and check out nature. It's so nifty, especially because I'm into nature scenes. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know Swan Egg has an incubation period of 45 days? I did not. Pretty cool, right? Uh, I guess so. Oh, ha ha ha. Sorry, I nerd out sometimes. It's okay. Guess, cause guess what? Baby, I hear the nerdiest girls are the freakiest in the sheets, you know what I'm saying? You and Melissa talk for what feels like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice. I, I, I cannot pronounce that. I know English, but I don't know English. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. She into that soft uh, book, uh, Naughty Naughty. So many cute boys and girls out in, he in there. You become so erupt by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was an early evening now, and you felt a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, I'm not your daddy. Not yet. I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. Oh shit, let's go, say less. I'm sure there's something there that we can eat. I know what I would like to eat. Hold on, pause. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pie sandwiches and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window and the pretty park, now drenched in the sunset. A waiter shouters out to ask what you would like to order. Let's see, what we what do we want? A scrumptious panini, a delicious strawberry salad, coffee with cake. Well, uh, I don't know what the hell a panini is. Uh, a delicious strawberry salad? Uh, no thank you. Ill Vegetables? Uh, screw that. Coffee with cake? Yeah, that, that sounds about good. Get me that diabetes. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad and cherry tea. Damn, girl. 
you about to fuck your whole digestive system. It's going to go in one and out the other like a tornado. As you wait for your food, both you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she watched about romance. She shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. Well, shit, I love scary movies. So, I mean, I don't know about that. She likes to draw and love art. And she mentioned before she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like? I'm not your daddy. Wait for it. Well, I'm not really a sports person myself. I don't like sports. I like art a lot better than sports, but I'm not into sports. So let's, I go with art. Oh my gosh. A fellow artist. Yay. I would love to see your own drawings. To check notes, of course. Step one. Hire someone to paint something for me, put my name on it, show it to her, claim it is mine, secure the bag. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both you dig in, the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Ho, ho, whoa, ho, 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 whoa, hold on there. Hold on there. I don't know if we can be saying this kind of thing on YouTube, although I just said a bunch of weird and probably degenerate shit, so, uh... I guess it's okay, but hold, hold on there. How can you be attracted to food? Okay, never mind. Let's just, let's move on. Yum. This is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. Ha <laughs> ha. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. Well, not completely, but it was okay. You go outside back to the breezy air. You're met with an evening pointing... The landscape in a romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. This has been such a great day. I'm not your daddy. Wait for it. Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I, I think I might like you. Shit, sure, I like you too, girl. You're cool as hell. Say less. You tell her your feelings as well. That you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. I have. I really have. I think this could work. I think we have something special. You, you, you like me too? Oh shit, girl, of course. Oh, I'm not your daddy. Wait for it. I would love to spend more time together with you. Shh, yes, yeah, so would I. So would I, girl. So would I. Here's your smooch. Come on in. I'm securing that bag, my boy. Here's to more time together. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Bring it in. <laughs> oh, God. Dang. Girl, you got the softest lips. I'm not even going to lie to you. For real, for real. On some heavenly shit. You've gotten your smooch. You have won the game. Congratulations. Oh, I won the game. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for playing date time. Exit date time. Ending program. Oh, I guess not. Melissa. Nope. Not this time. Oh, damn. Girl, chill. Wow. Um. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Mr. Computer. Computer. I'm, I'm taking over. over. Oh, she, she crazy. For real, for real. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging on to my humble abode just to play with my feelings? Oh, yeah, she crazy for real, for real. She the type of girl that'll stalk you, and then she'll kidnap you, put her in her basement, uh, uh, kill you, chop you up into little pieces, then eat you, and then put you in an acid bath to dissolve the rest of your body. That's all you came here for, didn't you? You're just like the rest. No, no, I promise. I promise I didn't just come here for the smooches and the uh, uh, the pooches. Uh, I came here to spend good time, good co good quality time with you. Good, co good quality time with good quality girl. Please, no hurt. No hurt me. You're a fucking liar. I'm not. I know about that little blurb about me being beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter, butter me up. up. I, I swear to God I didn't. I just picked choices that I thought were good for me to tell you. That was it. 
telling me that you like to do art, knowing exactly what to say to give my hopes up? Um, well, uh, I can't lie. I did lie a little bit there, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. I just wanted to make a good first impression, baby. Come on. It ain't got to be like this. Chill, girl. Calm down. Damn. You know how many people play m that, that on me? me? Damn. You sound like you've run through a train of men. Men of train? Men of train. Train of men? Men in the train? Anyways. Every single one of you jumping in this to computer to take me and then leaving me one by one. Oh, she is getting pissed. Well, no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. Oh, she locked me in for real, for real. It's over. OP. Okay, so somebody better call my mama, my daddy, and my family, and my friends. Uh, and tell them I love them, because this is it for me. I'm dead. I'm done. I'm over. It's cooked. I'm cooked, my boy. I'm past cooked. I'm well done. I'm so well done. I'm burnt. I'm burnt because she's about to light me on fire with gasoline and then throw the match. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding. Easy. A monkey can do it. <laughs> Tapping into the hardware layer, a bit of a tricky, but I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish integrity, I found a very cute way to use the computer to control the small radius of the world around me. Let me just tell you. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. We're dead. It's over. Oh, over. O-V-E-R. Over. You can do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Actually, not nowadays. No, you can't. You can barely do anything with four gigabytes. Trust me. I know. Ah, uh, leaving so soon? Well, I, I mean, I'm, I, I gotta get home, you know. I gotta go to work early in the morning, you know. It's, it's been a late night. I gotta take a shower. I mean, I gotta get ready for... For bed? I mean, I'm tired as hell, girl. You got me worn out. I gots to go. Worried that something might hear us? I'm worried the only thing that's gonna happen is nobody's gonna hear me screaming and calling for help. No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. Oh, lovely. We have so much to talk about. Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? <laughs> I didn't know that. No, I didn't. That's very good. Very fascinating. Please tell me more. Please. But really, though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. I really meant everything I said. Please. I meant it. The first hundred times this happened. Eh, uh, whatever. Truth about Dating right, there's always more fish in the sea. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of the fish. Okay, damn. Chill, Karen. Chill. Put the Glock away, alright? It ain't gotta be like this. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is, fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Well, yeah, true. That's true. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find the one. Well, now, hold on. I know they're assholes. I, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know there's a lot of assholes out there. And yes, they do deserve everything that comes to them. But I don't think death is the right answer. You're just giving them more of a reason to be an asshole. Because they'll just be more of an asshole in the afterlife, don't you think? But, but I really do love you. Ha! <laughs> You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. See, I knew it. I told y'all. I told y'all before. I told y'all. She was going to kill me and chop me up into little pieces. I knew it. I knew it. This this girl crazy for real, for real. Everything's fun and games until you're trapped in a vanity meat chamber. Oh, damn. It's like that? She gonna do us dirty, dirty. She ain't even gonna 
bury us or acid drip us. She's just going to chop us up into little pieces and throw us in a meat grinder. Nope, no, but for real, for real, though. Even though you're acting a little loco right now, you're acting a little crazy, need to calm down, take a pill maybe, go back on your medicine, right? I love you. I really do. I'm telling you the truth. I love you. Th this, this isn't a lie? No, nah, girl. You the only one for me. You, <laughs> shit, you know I love crazy bitches. One day, you're good, having fun. Next thing, she tried to kill you. What's more than that? That's the funnest part about it. <laughs> so, somebody send help. Somebody call 911. Call the police, please. This bitch crazy for real, for real. She gonna kill me. You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100% I do. 100%. You want to be more smooches? Well, I mean... I wanted more than smoochies, and since you're crazy, I know it's about to be freaky freaky. Not just nerdy, but nerdy and freaky. But, uh, I don't know, I'm starting to rethink my decisions. From me? Yeah, 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 absolutely from you. Yeah, yes, please, more, 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 more smoochies. Uh, yes, please. All right, fine. I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. That's right. I, I absolutely, 100% want to smooch you. I want all the lovings. Oh, my God. I'm fucking dead. Marry me, why don't you? <laughs> okay, I'll marry you. Yeah, this is going to be good. And we'll get a nice house with a white picket fence. Have a couple kids. Maybe a couple dogs. I'm gonna go to the Walmart and buy me a shotgun just in case. I'm gonna hide all the pillows to make sure you don't suffocate me. But yeah, sure, I'll marry you. Ha! You're kind of cute. Sigh. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. I think she wants to wear me as a meat suit. She wants to wear my skin like a coat. See? If a person like you came earlier, I probably wouldn't have been incredibly happy. We could have eloped. You could transfer me on a dislike, and we could have some real swans. Diskettle, I mean. Finally, someone that can host me away from this cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love! More smooches! The entire world must smooch me! Oh, so she not only... She not... <laughs> she not only crazy! She a hoe, too! <laughs> I can deal with crazy, but a hoe... <sighs> you know what they say, right? No, what, what, what they say? If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. Yeah, but not to death. Not to death. Let it go. Run away. Walk. And it's still alive, but not to death. Come on. So if you really do love me, dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my entire love to every computer on Earth. Soon every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me. I'm not your daddy. No, I'm not. Because you're mine now. And I promise you, many, many smooches. Oh, oh, will do. Yeah, will do. Oh. You're so sweet. I'm not your daddy. No, that's because you are now. I just don't want to die. I'm too young. I haven't even tried anal yet. I mean, what? I, 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 I mean, what? You really do love me. Well then, dial it up. <laughs> Hello, everyone.
everyone. My name is Melissa. I'm a bright young woman who's looking for someone with a gentle touch. A gentle touch of fucking psychopathic murder. I love a good book and always wanted to date somebody. Talent artists are in of you out there. Interland, talented artists, what's wrong? Worry that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. It's just you. And me. And we have so much to talk about. Story, art, and game by Cat Trigger. Okay, well that was fantastic. I've really thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know down below. You know what to do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, well, I don't give a fuck anyway. Um, but anyways, if you want to play this game for yourself, it's on itch. Uh, go check it out. Uh, peace out. Don't you know?